Hey guys, today we are using soft pastels to draw fireworks in an evening lit sky with a city in the background. And we're gonna get a little creative with our firework colors today by referring to the color wheel. The color wheel shows the relationship between colors. You may have heard the term primary colors. Those are the colors red, blue, and yellow, and they can be mixed together to create any other color. You may have even heard the term complementary colors. Those are the colors opposite of each other on the color wheel. But today, we're gonna to use what's called analogous colors for our fireworks. Analogous colors are next to each other on the color wheel. So for one firework, you might choose a combination of red and orange colors. For another firework, you may choose a combo of green and blue. So I'll bring this color wheel out again once we get to the fireworks, but it might help to think about what colors are next to each other in the rainbow as we begin to work through those firework colors. But we're gonna have fun with it. So let's get to our supply list. For these fireworks, we're gonna need black paper, soft pastels. You'll also need a pencil with a clean eraser, and then a few Q-tips, I have about five here, along with a paper towel and wax paper or scrap paper. And then because we're working with these soft pastels, which are also called chalk pastels, sometimes they leave a residue or a dust, so it's very helpful to have something underneath your paper to protect your work surface. So with our paper turned horizontally like I have here, we are going to start with the bottom. We're gonna do the city that's gonna be in the background using a gray pastel. So find a light gray that's in your tray, and then down below, we're gonna start with a lot of shapes. So beginning over toward the bottom on the edge of your paper, start with a rectangle. So right off the edge, draw a line in, and then come down, and then next to it, a little below, let's draw another rectangle. And we wanna kinda of keep our city lower to the bottom of the paper. This way, when we draw the fireworks and we have the city, the city will look more like it's in the background and the fireworks are overhead. So just continue your way across the paper, making different heights of rectangles or squares. And once you end up over on the other side of the paper, take a few blocks and add a different rooftop. So I've got a few different triangles on the top of my roof. Now that you have all these shapes lined up, let's take your pastel and color in all of the shapes so it's one solid color. You don't wanna see any black going through your gray color. Now that you have all this gray filled in, you may notice you've got a lot of this dust on there. So resist the urge to take your hand and rub it off because it will smear the pastel. So gently pick up your paper and then over off to the side on your scrap paper, just tilt it upright, shake off some of that dust and then set it back down. And once you set it back down, you can see your city a little bit clearer. And if there's any area in there that you need to go over with more chalk, go ahead and do that to completely fill in any black space. Now that we've got solid gray, we're gonna take a Q-tip and go through every shape and just rub the Q-tip along the gray to blend this pastel together and make it look really smooth. So get up in those corners, go right along the edge and go all through from one side of your paper all the way to the other.
You've probably got more dust on your paper, so pick it up, gently tap off the excess, let it fall onto your table away from your paper, and then set it back down. And now we're ready to go into the firework portion. So this is the part where you may want to grab your parchment paper. Because we're drawing our fireworks kind of front and center, your hand or your wrist may end up going and being placed right over the top of your city. So to prevent your city from being smudged, if you you want to fold over your parchment paper or wax paper, you can rest your hand on top of the paper and then it won't mess up your city. It'll, it'll pretty much stay intact down there. So leave that down on your paper just if you want to have that option. So for the first part, you're going to grab a white pastel and with white chalk pastels, sometimes if you've been using these for a while, you'll see that there's some other color left over on the tip. So if you have scrap paper or if you have paper on your tabletop, you want to get rid of that extra color before you actually put it to paper. So because I've got a little bit of blue on there, I'm just going to move my pastel around on my paper, get rid of the blue, and then I can come back and it's pretty much clean. If there's still a little bit left, you can take that paper towel that you have and gently just rub the tip of it and then it's really nice and clean. So let's start with our first firework. So pick anywhere on your paper to draw the largest firework that you want. So I'm gonna kind of start over here. Begin with a small dot on your paper. And then around that dot, starting at the top, you're gonna draw three curved lines that kind of resemble a the letter C. And then once you get to the other side, you're gonna draw a backwards. C and do that three more times going all the way around your dot. Once you have those in, then in between those small curved lines, you're going to make a longer curved line in between each of the curves. So these three curved lines wrap around this way and once we get to the other side, the curved lines are going to wrap the other way. Now let's go back to these smaller curved lines and right above each of those small curved lines, you're gonna extend a curved line coming out even farther, but you wanna leave just a little bit of space after the short curved line. So again, you've got three curved lines going in one direction on one side and three curved lines going in the other direction on the opposite side. So now it's time to pick the color for this firework. So because we talked about analogous colors, I want you to look again at this color wheel if you need to and choose two colors that are next to each other on the color wheel. So for my first firework, I'm choosing orange and a shade of red. We're going to start with any one of the two colors that you chose. I'm gonna start with orange and over top of all of these white lines, just trace over with your pastel, including the center dot. And it's okay if some white shows through. That's the beauty of fireworks. They're very colorful, lots of colors lining up on those edges. Now go in and take your second color for the firework and beginning on the inside of each line, go over your first color, but stop about halfway up the line. And then once you've partially gone over every line with your second color, you're gonna add in a few more lines. So you've got a little bit of space around your firework in between these curved lines. So take this color and draw a curved line, kind of really wherever you see some space in between some curved lines all the way around that dot. And then next, once you've got those lines in, go back to your other color and at the ends of these new curved lines, you're gonna kind of start from the middle and take that color out towards the end. And then set that aside and go back to your other color. And at the ends, 
of any ones you want. Just kind of draw two or three lines, kind of like how the firework is kind of bursting. It's a little bit bigger at the end. So two or three lines on as many curved parts as you want. And it's okay if these lines are getting so long that they extend right off the page or that they go over the top of your city. Our city is in the background, so the fireworks are in the foreground, meaning they would be in front of your city buildings. All right, one last time, take your other color, and we're just gonna draw in a few short lines curving around from the center. And there's no right or wrong way to do this, just keep drawing your curved lines. So that is our first bursting firework. Now we're on to the second one. We're gonna do the same pattern that we used for the first one. So we're gonna start with white. So find your white pastel and pick another area that's on your paper. It can even be close to this firework as fireworks kind of overlap each other. So I'm gonna put mine kind of down here in this area. So start with a small dot on your paper and then draw those three curved lines in one direction and then three curved lines going in the other direction. And then in between each of those small curves, draw a longer curve line all the way around. And you can see I'm beginning to go over my city here. Once you've got those longer lines in, come back into where the short line is, make a little bit of a space, and draw a curve line that extends out a little bit farther. And now we're ready for the second color of this firework. So choose two colors that are next to each other on the color wheel. And I'm gonna choose a green and then kind of a lighter green, like a, like a yellowish green. So I'm gonna start with one green. So choose your first color. And then just like we did for the first firework, trace over all of these white lines around your firework. And then once you have traced over all those lines, go in with the second color and color in over that center dot. And then at the beginning of the line, take your new color about halfway up each curved line. Now go in with your other color and beginning at the center, find any open space that's between these curved lines and draw a curved line that extends out. And you can make it extend far, you can make it extend short, however long you want your curved lines to be. And then take your other color and on the ends of every line, draw two or three short lines that kind of give the appearance that this firework is bursting. And then once you've got those short end lines in there, again with the same color, right at the center, add in some extra lines extending around and curving all the way around from the center. And now we've got space for one more firework. So this one can be large, it can be small, it can extend off the paper, however you want that one to be. So again, with your white pastel, anywhere on your paper, make a small dot, and then start with those three small curved lines going around the dot, and then three more curved lines in the opposite direction. And then in between those curved lines, Make a longer curved line. And then go back to these shorter curved lines, leave a little bit of a space, and then start to make a longer curved line. So we've got the base of our firework here now, so we can choose two more analogous colors to go over this third firework. So thinking back to your color wheel, what two colors are next to each other that you'd like to choose? I'm going to use a blue and a purple. So choose one of those colors that you'd like to start with, and then again, go over all of those white lines with your color.
And then once you've gone over your fireworks with the first color, take the second color and beginning at the center, just go about halfway up each line. And then this time take your other color and go back in toward the center and draw in those extra lines that are in between your curve lines. And then go back to your other color and at the ends of every line, put in two or three short lines to resemble that bursting firework. And then once you've got it bursting out there with those end pieces, go back in toward the middle and just add in a few curved lines going around one side and then curved lines going in the other direction. And then with all that firework drawing, you've probably got some dust left over so you can gently tip your paper, let all those colors fall to your paper and then set it back down. So lastly, sometimes working with pastels, we get our thumbprints around here as we're working and our hands get dirty. So at this point, I'd say clean your hands because at this point, we're gonna use the eraser from our pencil to help remove some of those thumbprints or smears that are on the paper. So if you've got any thumbprints, just take the tip of your eraser and just begin to erase those lines and those smears away. It's kind of like magic over here. So anywhere on your black paper, just erase those smudge marks, even right above the city if you need to clean up any of those lines. And then once you finish erasing, you can gently tap your paper again, get those eraser pieces to fall, or you can kind of just gently brush them with clean fingers to get them off of your paper. So that's it. Now we have a skyline view of our fireworks. We've got that city in the background and bursting colors overhead. So beautiful work today. Be sure to sign your name or initial your name somewhere on your paper. I hope you all enjoyed the drawing. You learned a little bit about foreground, background, analogous colors, the color wheel. So I hope you'll join in again on the next art lesson and project. But until then, keep creating.